<laughs> All right, what to expect in this video? Some freaky new food ideas and a breaking of Mike's virginity in terms of sleeping in a hammock. Oh yeah, I'd already forgot. Yeah. <laughs> he forgot he's sleeping in a hammock already. Terrified. Oh. The three rules for sleeping in the hammock. No shoes, no farting unless it's an emergency, and no thrashing around slash swashbuckling. Your rules are fair and just, and I promise to buy you a new hammock should I so much as scratch it. I'm gonna eat you. Oh, dude. What? No, I just know because I can tell because of the things. That's how I know stuff. Yeah. So we found a camp, and now it's time to uh, set up Virgin Boy over here. So I don't have the microphone on, so I'm going to yell at you. But I think the plan is I'll show Mike tonight, and then tomorrow night we're going to make him do it. I know I can't help myself. You're all in the world to me. It feels like the first time. It feels like the very first so we're going to relax for the evening. Tomorrow, we will uh, exploit Mike and show him trying to set it up by himself. That is if he chooses to spend a second night in a hammock. But we'll get a report from him in the morning and hike out. Tomorrow, we will definitely be at a camp before the sun goes down. That's your first bit of our feedback, is it's weird? It's weird. I'm moving. I know. I'm filming you. Hammock swing. You can stop it by putting your hand out. By what? Stopping it like you'd stop a swing. It's called science. We'll report back huh? in the morning. <laughs> huh? Good morning. Mike slept in the hammock. Cliffhanger. We're not going to tell you what he, how he feels quite yet. Because we need coffee first. For our first freaky food item, uh, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But for breakfast, I'm going to try some Cap'n Crunch. And this might be a horrible idea, but I found these at Dollar General. French vanilla creamers. So I'm going to dump a couple of these there in there and add water and stir it up and see if it mimics breakfast cereal. Stay tuned. Yeah, stuff it. Stuff it, Mike. Yeah, it didn't take that much uh, finesse or whatever you're talking about. We're packing up. We're about to head out. But let's get to the point. Mike, what? Well, first of all, the cons of the hammock. Uh, sleeping on my side was uncomfortable. Uh, made me feel like I, my feet and my head were up so my hips kind of I would get uncomfortable and then having to uh, move around because I being a side sleeper roll from one side to the other was complicated right and then your feet up, hurt yeah when I lay on my back my feet would hurt All right. I don't know if it was because they were compressed or what but I wake up my feet would hurt or when I got out to use the restroom uh my right foot would really hurt but that's gone now. I think it might have just been from where I was being compressed in the end of the... And uh, I woke up with my feet freezing this morning. I don't know why. Maybe I scooted too far 
past the quilt or what? But, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, for, and then let's do the con or the pros. I mean, what? Well, so far the pros are uh, ease of packing up um, the the tarp. Like it's the a, view. The well, the view. Yeah, the the way that you can. Um, use it multiple ways uh, you know you can have it nice and tight like a first storm shelter or, or you can have your hammock like with your porch mode i guess you call it yeah so that's cool i love that part too because you can't really do that with the rain fly on a lot of tents so packing it up and the tarp, the tarp, the tarp variety the, yeah and then uh will you try it a second night i will i'm gonna try it again yeah all right he's gonna give it a second try tonight i've been sleeping in a tent for 15 years, you know, so. Yeah, 15 years in a tent, I can understand all of these things, so, especially like what I call like the banana effect. Yeah. And sometimes you, I can get around that just by sleeping in it many nights, getting used to it. Um, what was the other thing I was going to bring up? Oh, yeah, you said you were really warmer, right? Oh, warmer, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I was definitely warmer than sleeping on the ground. Except for your feet. Yeah, but I think that that was because I did slide up too far. Yeah, that would, you can't blame... The insulation probably yeah, probably no, slid forward. No, the the superior gear insulation on the bottom quilt was amazing. All right, amazing. stay tuned for night two. But we're gonna hike out. We'll share some of that with you as well. Oh yeah. Also, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. <laughs> Feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. All right. This might be really bad. I should have maybe brought more of the creamer. <laughs> more creamer? Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be water. Huh, it looks milky. Milky. I think this would actually be better if you just put cereal in a uh, Ziploc, because then you could shake it up easier. Yes. Yes. That's good. Yum, 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 yum. If I could land on somebody's finger, I would. We've been hiking since morning. It's about what, 2.30? It's 2 30 ish, yeah. And uh, trying to find this campsite. You're trying to tell me that when you flatulate, you actually release microscopic fecal matter? Kind of bend it. That looks pretty good, yeah. Because right, that's all I wanted.
tonight's new dinner idea, pasta roni. They have um, el for, our, uh, penne alfredo, which I am eating, and they also have a marinara uh, ready to eat pasta in a bag. And Mike had this for lunch, he liked it, uh, combining it with a pouch of chicken. And then I'm gonna make it buffalo style with some Frank's Red Hot and just some salt and pepper. This one's a real big win. I wasn't convinced when Mike told me at lunch, but he is 100% right. <laughs> That's delicious. Way better than a backpacking meal. And all with the chicken and this, probably, I don't know, 450 tops together. About a third the price of a peak refuel. Well, I forgot to give Mike props for uh, setting the hammock up by himself last night. He required little or no co coaching whatsoever. So I guess that's proof that even an imbecile could set a hammock up. Oh, that's another thing. The tarp sucks. <laughs> Says the imbecile. Okay, Mikey. So night two in the hammock. First of all, uh, how did you sleep? Better. You might have to yell. Better on my back. I'm a side sleeper, so uh, it was hard to fall asleep. But once I did, I stayed asleep. That's good. Uh, I was warm, or way warmer than uh, on the ground. I don't see myself going out and buying a hammock, though. You're not going to buy a hammock yet? No, I don't. Not, I don't see the big again. deal. I don't see what the big deal is. He doesn't see what the big deal is. No. I really have no way to explain that. I have to debate whether or not he will remain my friend because that's ridiculous. <laughs> so hammocks are not for sleeping in the fetal position, which is how Mike sleeps. Ends up sleeping somehow. It, it makes sense when you look at him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he likes to sleep kind of balled up. I kind of do that too when I sleep on my side. It doesn't bother me in a hammock, but... This video is really quite educational for everyone because it does prove that one is not better than the other when you talk about hammocks or tents. It's really a matter of, you know, personal preference and sleeping methods, etc. Uh, that's about it, really. It's yeah. easy to set up. It's lightweight. But I don't know. I just, I think I prefer my tent. So sorry, Danny and Pete, we've not converted him yet, but uh, I will always love my Superior Gear hammock. And I think I'll just really quickly say that I think this is the best insulated hammock on the market. There are some competitors trying to mimic or, you know, do what Danny has done with Superior Gear with the integrated insulation. Uh, but one huge advantage to this one is that it has full insulation wrapped all the way around, whereas the leading competitors have it so you can only weigh, so you can only lay one way or another diagonally. Did I ever tell you that? That other company, they put the underquilt on, but it's like diagonal, so you have to choose if it's left or right. Huh? Yeah. And everybody's freaking out about how awesome it is, but I'm telling you, this is better. Because you can roll around and still stay warm, you know, basically 360 degrees. But Mike, 
I'm glad you won't be sleeping in my hammock again. So I consider myself a hammock evangelical. And this trip, I tried to convert one more tenter to the heavenly life. Unfortunately, we didn't win this time. But I'll never give up on Mikey here. He'll be swinging from the trees before you know it. <laughs> nice hanging out with y'all. We'll see you real soon. So if you ever stop by Hill City, South Dakota, make sure and stop and check out the Donkey Food Laundromat.